<clears throat> Raiders! Raiders! Let's go! <laughs> I, I can't believe we won. The Raiders hadn't... I'm sorry, guys, I'm a mess, I know. The Raiders hadn't won in four weeks. I am beyond... Beyond... <laughs> I am beyond shocked. I don't know how that, I'm pretty, uh, I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. How does that little saying go? Anyway, I, I know what you guys, I know you guys know what I mean. But let's go! The Raiders did what they were supposed to do, managed the time of possession, and got the dub. The Raiders hadn't done that in about a month's time, and I, 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 I cannot tell you how shocked I am. Let's go, man. See, this is one of the many reasons why I love this team, despite all the stress they put me through. <laughs> uh, you know, it's uh, it, it's crazy. Um, so originally, as you guys know, I was on the Instagram, and I told you guys I had a little situation where I was going to be my family for a uh, little trip for Christmas week. But I still have to bring you guys this stream, so you're welcome. So let's talk about the game. If the Raiders uh, get a surprising win, 24-17, uh, to 17, to stay surprisingly in the playoff mix. Surprisingly enough, all the teams we needed, we needed to win, Jets, Saints, Ravens, uh, who else needed to win for us? Uh, okay, well, I'm just going to say all the teams we... If you go look on Instagram, CBS Sports posted a, like a, a grid, and uh, all the teams we needed to win today for us won. That's right, the Jets actually beat the Steelers, um, and we won. So somehow at seven and eight, <laughs> we're still in the playoff mix. I cannot believe it. So let's talk about the game. I think we mainly won the game. Like I said, we beat the Chargers twenty-four to seventeen. Also, by the way, with this win, we have swept. The Chargers in the division, in our division games, for the first time in like seven years. So that's crazy. Uh, I, I can't, I can't believe it. All right, so let's talk about this game. I, here's why I think we won. Hold on, I'm just gonna try to give me a second. Well, I didn't like the lighting where I was gonna set my phone, so that's kind of emotional. But let's talk about this. So I, I think we mainly won the game because of the time of position. Give me a second, guys. Give me a second. Like I said, I think the main reason why the Raiders got this win is because of the time of possession of the football that they had. Most of the times, the Raiders stall. Their offense is stagnant, and our offense has been figured out within the last four weeks, obviously. T un un uh, today, however, we had the ball for 16 minutes in the first half, 17 minutes in the second half, and another 16 minutes in the third half, compared to the Chargers 7, 15, and 13. That that is that is crazy. That's double what the Raiders have ever had in like the last four games, and I, I think that's the main reason why we won. Um, beyond that, you know, Derek d did well. Yeah, he still did with the, you know his little dump offs, but you know at the beginning of the game, um, Hunter Renfro. So glad he's back. The Raiders' offense clearly missed him. I'm gonna tell you this right now. If he's not in the game today, we lose. No doubts about it. Like, he is like, I don't know, he's like the, the, the life in our offensive uh, little scheme. And it's, it's amazing, too. Um, but his presence was just felt. You could tell from the first play how much we missed him. First play, Carr hits him for a 60-yard touchdown. 7 nothing. And then, of course, you know, the Raiders have to give their fans heart attacks, and they stall, obviously. So that ended up being, you know, 7-7 seven, seven, um, Chargers, and then surprisingly out of nowhere, you know, the one thing we've wanted for Carr for the last six, six years that we, we've had him is some of his, his mobility and his athleticism to show. He, uh, his athleticism showed, and it was very surprising. He scored a touchdown, and he scrambled it in at the one-yard line, and we went into half, 14-7 Raiders. So then we go out, come out the half, uh, DeAndre Washington, you know, last year I doubted him a lot. I, I I wasn't I wasn't I wasn't too sure about his probability to stay on the team, especially this year with Jacobs coming. And originally I say a Crowell coming along, but then he tore his ACL. Anyway, um he's a really good running back and he's a really shifty third down runner. He's more of a downhill runner 
while Jacobs is that like bouncy runner, and I like that. I hope we resign him because I think he's coming out. I think he's coming in on a contract here pretty soon. So I hope we resign him. Um, defensively, I mean, okay, so offensively, uh, offensive line was very sad to watch. You know, uh, I wasn't very happy. Eventually, I think Gruden heard me and benched Brandon Parker, who very many Raider fans aren't a fan of. They they benched him, <laughs> and I'm, I'm I'm glad they did because he's not. He's still not good enough. He's more of a swing tackle. So defensively, offensively, I have to give the performance a B. That was great. I loved it. Defensively, defensively was more of the same, you know. Um, the defense, they didn't suck, suck this time. They were more decent than just outright, you know, blameful. You know, just outright painful to watch. Um, you know, they had some key stops. They had some key letdowns. So, but I mean, it's more of the same. Uh, not impressed, not particularly impressed, not particularly upset either. I think this is the first time I'm happy about a Raider game in a long time. So just give me credit there. Um, defensively, I guess I'll give it a C. But like I said, defense still needs improvements. And I think we all know that. Uh, Cleveland Farrell came up with the clutch sack at the end that kind of got us the win as well. So, yeah, kicking wise, um, Daniel Carlson almost missed a kick. Uh, AJ Cole boomed two punts, just out- outright murdered those punts to like the Chargers five yard line. So that's good. And then finally, uh, injury front because there were some injuries. Um, I'm gonna save the best one for last, obviously. At the beginning of the game, Jalen Richard hurt what looked to be his ankle. He came back. Uh, LaMarcus Joyner hurt his hip, no, his quad, and he didn't return to the contest. It was in the third, the second quarter. And Trayvon Mullen got hurt twice. And Trayvon Mullen's injuries were kind of scary, but also kind of basic, I guess, if you can say. Trayvon Mullen um, went down with a, I think he was a head injury. Yeah, he went into the concussion protocol, so it was a, it was a head injury. He collided with um who did he collide with the first time? I think I, I think I gotta hurry guys because okay so I, so anyway, Trevor Mullen's injuries were really bad. They had to pull him out on a stretcher. Um so prayers up to him. Anyways Raider Nation, that's all I got for you guys. I'm proud of the Raiders and we'll get ready for next week against Denver. As always, go Raiders. Sorry guys my phone was running out of room to record so